Well, just changed into these scrubs here and we're about to have surgery. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes, but I just want to update you just in case I'm not making videos for like a little while. Should be back out there soon, but this is the whole story of why I'm here today. Well, I'm on my way to make a video right now, but this is something that I've been going through since 2016. And I don't know, I just want to share it with you because it's a wild story and it's been a long journey. So now you'll know. Back in 2015, 2016, I saw this bump on my hip. Well, let me preface this story that in one week, less than one week, I'll be going in and having surgery where I'll have to be put under general anesthesia and they're going to cut about a 12 inch, there'll be a 12 inch incision on my right hip. And this is repeating a surgery that I've done back in 2016. But the whole story behind this is 2016, I found this big bump on my right hip, like right above my butt. And I was squatting a lot back then. I was playing basketball a lot, running a lot. And silly old me, I thought it was muscle. I thought I was getting stronger. But my wife now, Sarah, was like, eh, you might want to get that checked out. So I went to the doctor, got it checked out. This was at CPMC in San Francisco. And uh, pretty clear, it was a tumor, about a softball-sized tumor. And it was big. Like, you could only see the tip of the iceberg. So, uh, they did a biopsy. The biopsy was like, okay, it's just like a lipoma, pretty much, which is just a fatty tissue, non-cancerous, something like this. A lot of people have them. I have a little bump right here. A lot of people have something like this. It's just a little fat deposit, right? But this one was growing really slow on my hip. So, if we just left it, it would keep on growing, so we took it out. After they take it out, I was under general anesthesia for a night. I was staying in the hospital. Surgeon came in the next day. They always take another biopsy after they take a tumor out, apparently. So they took another biopsy, and this, the surgeon came back and told me, well, it turns out that it's not non-cancerous. It is actually a form of cancer that is quite developed right now, and it's called liposarcoma. It's like, dang, I don't even know what that means. That's what he told me that day in the hospital. That night, I looked it up, liposarcoma. Five-year life expectancy, four-year life expectancy, six-year life expectancy is what I was reading online. Yeah, I'll admit I cried that night. Huge shocker, right? Next day, the surgeon comes back in. And I'm like, man, you told me this was liposarcoma last night. I was doing some research, and it looks like life expectancy is only four or five years. And what he said to me was, yeah, if you have anything on your bucket list, you might want to start checking some things off. For real. For real. That's what he said to me. Isn't that crazy? It's like so, I don't know. Is it insensitive or is it just factual or what? Anyway, I thought I had like four or five, six years left. This was November 2016. Next thing after you find out that it's a malignant tumor it is to go get chemo and radiation. So everything was scheduled. I had meetings with the radiation oncologist. We were spark about to start the treatment in two weeks. Sarah, my wife, man, I'm so lucky to have her. She was saying, you know, if you're really going to do chemo and radiation, it might be a good idea to go to UCSF. They're right here. They're a much more prestigious school. At least go there and get a second opinion. So I went to UCSF, made an appointment. When the doctors get a new patient, it's their standard practice to get their own biopsy and not to trust the results of the pathologists from the other other hospitals so they did their own biopsy but in the meantime I was talking to the doctors saying all right you know if we're going to do this chemo radiation which I had accepted at that point I'd rather do it with you guys and you know still 
yeah. if we were to do the treatment, it would be very similar to what CPMC was telling me. So I sat down with the doctor, and this guy was bald, like, like, who's is there a bad guy in Sonic the Hedgehog? He's just got like a little line around his head, but his top is completely bald, shiny. Well, his whole head was bald and shiny like a cue ball. And this dude said to me, like, you know, there's going to be some side effects to this. You're you're going to be more bald than I am. This dude is bald as you can be. And I'm going to be more bald than he is. So, yeah, that was another sad moment. Just facing reality. My whole life is about to go down this wild ride that I did not sign up for. But it is what it is. Can't do anything about it. <laughs> One of the next days the pathology report comes back from UCSF and they're like, you know, it's not cancer. It's just a lipoma. There's no need to do chemo and radiation. So many mixed emotions at that point. Are you serious? Well, thank you so much for telling me. What the hell are these other doctors doing handing out cancer... Uh, Freaking cancer diagnosis is like it's a freaking hall pass. <sighs> Crazy, man. Crazy. And this is already after I had had that first tumor, which I guess, is it tumor? I don't know. I don't like to say that. It's kind of like a loaded word, tumor. I don't like to be associated with a tumor. But, um, yeah. The first one was taken out in November 2016, and we've been monitoring it at UCSF. You know, every three months, every six months, and from 2016 to now, 2022, which is going on six years, I should have been dead. Right? Man. Now, six years later, it has grown back a little bit, not, not, not huge. They've already took out my whole gluteus medius, basically. And now they're going to go in. It's a new surgeon. I trust this one way more. The original one used old-ass sutures that didn't even dissolve like the new ones do. So I feel like some leather-ass sutures down there in my hip. I don't know what they really are. But, um, yeah, so we're going to have it with the new surgeon that I trust way more. And, um, yeah, we're just going to take it out. And the recovery shouldn't be as bad because they're not taking out as much muscle. But that is the story. Now you're up to date. And now if I don't make a video for a week or so, then you'll understand why. And maybe now you'll understand why I didn't make videos every once in a while back then too. But, yeah, just wanted to include you in this part of my life. Because we're going through it together, y'all. Right? I don't know with me for this long might as well keep you up to date oh by the way we are having another fisherman's life street fair and that's probably going down the last weekend of july or the first weekend of august probably on a saturday we're not quite sure yet there's going to be way more vendors i'll do a video on what specific vendors are being are uh, participating so you know what to expect when you come it's free to the public last year we probably had about four or five thousand people maybe three to five thousand people show up this year, let's do it bigger. Let's do it bigger. I'm going to try to have a, the same band. They were great. A um, bunch of other stuff. So, yeah. Mark it on your calendar. If anything changes, I will let you know. But so far, last weekend of July or first weekend of August in San Francisco, just check the description for, or the best way to stay up to date on this is to go to my website. When you go there, there will be a pop-up that says, to stay up to date, blah, 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 enter your email address. If you enter your email address, I'll send you an email when this block party is happening, so you will be sure to get it. And, um, yeah, I don't send out too many emails, maybe like once every two months, and whether whatever it is, it's just like a huge sale or some news or something. So if you want to be a part of that list, just go ahead to my website and sign up. Otherwise, yeah, over and out, I guess not cancer so i'm happy about that now i'm on my way to film a video right now too so peace